When were you first approached to do this? Um, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's a funny story. Um, I, I did a fundraiser, uh, I, I hosted a fundraiser about two years ago for the LA Gay and Lesbian Center. I went into the center, really knew nothing about it, um, and I took a tour of the center and I, I stumbled upon their homeless youth program. And it's where they take youth off the streets and give them a second chance. They give them a place to sleep, food to eat, um, help them with education. And it's really, you see, I'm getting chills. You see firsthand how the center takes these kids that otherwise would wind up dead and really changes their lives. And, um, and I fell in love with the center and so I threw a fundraiser for them. And we raised uh, like three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and it was great. It was three hundred fifty thousand yeah, 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 yeah. dollars. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Oh my god, that's really successful. And through that, I became friends with um, some people at the center, and and Lauren, she was the one that called me up three weeks ago and said, "Hey, Mike, uh, can you can you be in this music video mm -hmm. and, and play um, you know play the the, the best man groom?" And I said, uh, "I can't because I'm out of town. I was filming a horror film." And I said, I can't, I'm out of town. And then uh, my schedule changed. I, I called her up actually a few days ago. And I said, I, Oh, wow. I, yeah, I said, I can do it. And they <laughs> said, Well, they found somebody else, but now you can do it and oh, wow. show up and like have fun. It, literally, I, I knew nobody coming into today, not one person on set. Oh, wow. And I was really, really nervous. I walked in, and you know, because sometimes sets can be cold and people, you know, don't really. Um, you know, they're not the friendliest if you don't know anybody. So I walked in and, and Nicole, the director, 30 seconds in the door, she comes up, gives me a big hug, says, yeah. thanks for being here and, you know, what could we do for you? So it was, it, today's been Walking great. Into and, and I wouldn't have actually known that because every time I've seen you, you've been talking with somebody or interacting here or there. I would have thought that you knew everybody else. Yeah, I know. No this, this morning I, I didn't know a soul here. And then, and then now we're doing back rub circles downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a testament to the inspiration behind Nicole Kahn's vision, mm -hmm. you know, um, her being able to create a project and people like yourself to just jump in, get involved, and then create a family. But I think it takes a certain type of person to give a full day to yeah. uh, doing something like this. And, and when you're, you have a bunch of those people in a room together, it's not you know, surprising to find that they become friends. Now what is your personal vision? Equality. The idea of equality and everybody being treated the same is just something I grew up with and it just seems so common sense to me. So I'm really um, hoping that the trend continues, that people just get it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. It, it shouldn't, it, especially in America, we have you know labels for this and, and, and ideas for this and ex expectations for this and there's, there's it's so stringent. Yeah. And, and, and I, I feel like people just need to worry about themselves. Yeah. And just pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to yourself alone. and just like stop everything else. Stop caring so much about yeah. everybody else. It's yeah. it takes so much effort. Just let it be and then uh, and then we will finally all be equal, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Mike, you're like really into the activist community. You're out there doing anti bullying campaigns like Buddha Bullying and mm -hmm. um, lending your voice and your talent to so many organizations out there. I've always enjoyed being involved with, with charities. I think that the idea of people giving to others, uh, I've always loved that the idea of, of that since I was little. I think recently over the past few years, my heart's really gone out to charities that involve youth of, yeah. of different kinds. And so, um, so boot bullying obviously is against bullying in, in schools. Uh, and I think that schools, especially middle school and high school, are, are places where uh, bullying is everywhere. And it's not really talked about enough. I'm happy to to be one of the voices, a part of that. Your resume reads like I'm doing this, I'm doing <laughs> that, and I'm doing this. Like, I mean, how do you find the time to like be a part of so many beautiful projects? Well, uh, you know, I'm I'm lucky enough uh, t to work a lot, and so you know, I, I get to be involved with different projects like today, um, and, and so that keeps me me busy. But I think the charity work is what keeps me sane. Uh, yeah. Los Angeles is an easy place to kind of get caught up in, in things that are not so good. And yeah. so I think that, uh, at least for me, being involved with, with nonprofit is a way to be a part of a community that's just about goodness and about giving mm -hmm. for no reason, just because. Just because. I can thank you for being part of the Sheep for Me project. Uh, I think you make a beautiful groom slash <laughs> thank you. best man. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing more of your work and empowering the youth. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm Thank a new you. fan. Aw, bring Thank it in. You. Thank you. Bring it in. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.